Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks to qualify for the Solo Cash Cup and also earn for your first time in the Victory Solo Cash Cup. A lot of you guys have been asking me for this from my Twitch chat, so I'm going to make this video. We'll see how it goes. If it does good, I'm going to keep doing it. Um, for finals, I think I want to VOD review a pro that gets low kill wins rather than someone like Marius that runs through the lobby. Because if I watch Marius and VOD review him, you're not really going to learn much because you guys can't really replicate what he does. So I'm going to try to find someone that you guys can relate to and then you can learn off of that for opens i think i'm just going to explain a few basic things because opens is pretty simple whereas finals you play solely for the win so there's a way to play it but opens you could qualify by wkm by doing this so i'm gonna just explain some some simple things that you guys can try to apply and then for finals i that's when i take it serious and try a few things down all right first thing i want to say about opens is it's a two hour session and you have seven games and the first game is always going to be the easiest so with that being said i try to get as many points as you can from your first game if you're a confident fighter that means go fight as much as you can if you're someone that is better in end game and you're not that good at fighting just play out the placement points get your 30 points and you're nearly halfway there to call in because it's like 75 then you'll be mid elo you can play end game again the most important thing in all of opens if you're struggling to qualify is playing those five games out normally it's playing seven games out in a free our format but in this just play your five games out and the only way you won't be able to play your five games out is if number one you have a stupid mid game death or number two <clears throat> you die of spawn a lot because then you will miss q times da 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 because you can literally fit i think four games fully out is an hour 40 minutes so you have 20 minutes to get into that fifth game you know what i mean so the most important thing is playing five games out so make sure you have a spot where you want to land there's ways to go about off spawn man I'm going to give you an example. I, I just like think to yourself with your drop spot. Number one, let's say you get into a fight. Is there a way that you could disengage and still be fine? Which is hard to do in solos. But here, if I go off this and I just show you what I'm talking about. This is an example that I could show you guys of like my thought process about off spawn and why I'm pretty good at off spawn is let's say, for example, I'm aiming for this chest up here. But if I get out drop for this chest, right obviously i should have the best drop but you want to plan for worst case so if now i get out drop for this chest what i do is i aim for this and i slide off of this and i get the chest spawn here if it spawns the chest spawn right here and then after that i play for this go in this building then i break down then i have a whole loot route to work around grim and then another thing is if this chest doesn't spawn mid-air i'll scout if there's anyone here and if there's no one here i'll just land here I'll just glide here. But you need to have like a backup plan in your head about of spawn, and that's how you'll survive. So let's say look, I'll take a random spot. We could do it at fencing. Let's say you aim for main, but the floor spawns you're aiming for at the balcony. Let's say you get out dropped, swerve into this and play off of this. You know what I mean? Because you don't deserve to get this loot if you don't have the best drop. That's the truth of it. And you could still win a fight. But this doesn't mean that you play scared. You know what I mean? If you land here, I don't know how to explain it without you guys overcomplicating it. It's very simple. You have two hours to qualify. Yeah? First game. Da -da 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 -da. When you're after and you have one hour, five minutes, you don't want to die at this point because you can play three games out. But if you're at like 50 minutes, you can only play two max, you know? So it's fine. You can take risks. I don't know. I don't want to overcomplicate it. But that's just one thing. It opens is very simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Play end game land your spot it's very simple finals is where there's stuff to learn for it so we're gonna jump in game and we're gonna see there's one thing in fortnite and it's called the win condition a lot of top pros know about it i don't know if you guys know about it but something like the win condition could be something like high ground or it could be something like the medallion from grim gates it's something that conditions you to win it gives you an advantage over everyone and you're playing for the win you know what i mean so something like a mythic shotgun it's not really a win condition like it's something to get kills and that but it won't really make you win the game because if you have a gold pump you're probably going to do the same thing so that's what a lot of pros think about when going into games like this they think about the win condition let me know if you guys would want videos where i go through even my losses because when you take a loss you learn the most so let me know if you guys want to see videos like that we have two people here we got trippin and we got tayson tayson got a seven kill win Tasting someone that really knows how to play the win condition. So uh, we'll jump in and watch him. Oh, see? He's landing Grim Gates for the medallion. 
as I told you, plays for the win condition. Now, obviously, some of you guys probably, oh, we got a fellow goon here. Shout out to goons. Obviously, um, you guys might not be confident to land Grim. But, but win condition doesn't, it doesn't like only mean one thing. You know what I mean? A win condition can be something as simple as playing height or having a fizz, literally. And this is what I'm talking about. He's playing for the win condition. As I told you guys before, he got the... He's probably playing for the medallion more so than the shotgun. Because I know Taysom. He plays for win condition. I'm not even trying to glaze. This is actually why Taysom one of the best solo players. Like, his three solo placements are first, first, and fifth in finals. Like, major finals, FNCSs. Uh, chat, come on, man. That's not glazing. Don't even write that. But, but now, look. He's got his medallion. He's got his shotgun. And we can see from now, all the way until endgame, he gets no kills. Because kills give you nothing in this format. And this is if you want to earn first. Like, obviously, if you're someone like Marius, hit the W key, man. Why not? So, look, it's all the way half. So, now he still has no kills. So, this is something you guys could easily relate to. Gets a quick kill there. Instantly goes on it. I'm going to tell you one thing about kills like this. If you don't instantly go for it, don't go for it. If you have, like, doubts, you're like, eh, don't go for it. That's if you're, like, stacked like this. There's a lot of times in scrims where I'll be like, should I go for it? I... And then I go for it too late and I get lobbied or someone else is on the loot. The only good way to go for loot like this is if, number one, you're scuffed and you need to go for it. Or if you're very stacked, you go for it instantly. But you got to make sure you build on the way. Because if you get cracked, especially in stacked lobbies, it's a long day, man. I think he's intending on going a high layer here, yeah? And that's, if you're stacked in solos, you should always... Always, 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 always try to go to a high layer. So, yeah, that's one thing. You want to stay elevated. You don't want to be on low ground. Because then now when it's moving, when you go, you're going to be surrounded by a bunch, a bunch of people around you trying to just jump on you, man. So, you want to be on a high ground, alone. And you just want to, you'll have a freer rotate. You'll have more vision as well in the whole lobby. If you're down here, you can't see anything. And you're with a bunch of bums. So, you don't want to be with the bums. But even Snazy is not all the way low ground. So yeah, majority of what he's doing is just scouting the whole time. Just scouting, waiting in his box. A lot of you guys are ADHD kids that spam on TikTok all day. Listen, bro, it's fine to sit in your box and just scout. You don't need to do edit and reset and then get jumped in on. Okay? Just chill in your box. Look at Taysom. Stay in the box. <laughs> okay. Here we go. C shots. Doesn't even edit. He's just chilling in his box. And then now he's scouted a bit. He sees that upright rotation. Look, staying high again. And look, if I go right here, there's no one around him. The higher you go, the less people there are, unless it's high ground. You know what I mean? Look, there's barely anyone here. But if he did it from here, look, he would have had a Trius gal. He would have had this guy shooting him. He would have had this guy. Look, this guy's trying to shoot people from edge. Would have had this guy looking down on him, maybe. You know what I mean? But try to play high layers, especially when you're stacked and set up to win the game. I'll jump his box. Chills. See, I would have made another box towards zone here, but I think he wants to dash, so he gets into the deep side of zone. I don't... Yeah, exactly. See, here, I would be scouting for height, because he has 1k mats. And look, high ground's free. So if this was me, you know, you could, you could still take note of what I would do as well. I'll add on to that. If I was him, I would just scout high real quick. And that's what he does, kind of. Look, he's looking for a chop. And he realizes it's not really possible. So he waits, he waits. Gets a kill. Insta dashes on it. That's what I was telling you earlier. Got to make sure you instantly go <coughs> if you're stacked. And now he has cat mats. Chat, if you're on cat mats on low ground, you should never... It don't make sense. Cat mats on low ground, it's like an oxymoron. It don't make sense. As soon as you have cat mats, you should be going up layers, man. Because you don't want to be with the bums. And you got good mats, you don't chill with the bums. So I assume he goes up after this. And that's exactly what he does. And look, now he's playing for the win condition again. I assume he's going to scout height very, very soon. Yep. And you can see... 
See, I would have took notice. I know, like, Tis is not as good as me. But I would have took notice that he was fizzing there. And that would make me think he's scuffed. But Tayson's a bit washed. You know, man. I outplaced him last grand. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm surprised he hasn't taken height already. To be honest, but he's just playing it slow. Just patient. When you have this many mats chat, you don't need to be looking for kills. You just got to be going zone to zone. Makes that kid 1 HP. Leaves it. And look, again, makes a box. He's not really rushing it. Leaves two people. See, I think that was a mistake. I think he knows that's a mistake as well. He left two people that were both one healing on him to tunnel vision height. He could have just played his layer. But I guess in the end, look, he got high ground for free. But that's twice this game where he's been one HP, but he still does what he would normally do. Early in the fight at Grim, he opened the same edits and still fought while 50 HP. And here he still pursued height when he's one HP. That's composure for you. Four builds left. Put a medal ready. I'm surprised he wins with... He must get a kill here. Because at this point of the game, you should have six med kits. See, I think he knows he's not going to win with two med kits. So he jumps in here. Dush gets med kits and then plays endgame. It's as simple as that. He just chilled the whole endgame. You guys didn't see him fight. He just played zone to zone, just played patient, then just took the high ground. I swear, the game's so simple, man. What's that quote by Johan Cruyff? It relates to Fortnite. Fortnite's a simple game, RIP, but like, this is, I know he quoted Fortnite before he died. Fortnite's a simple game, but playing simple is hard, man. That's fact. Um, and yeah, man, we get to sweet 100 buckaroos, sweet victory royale. Yeah, man. Great win. Great win. Great win. Another thing I want to mention is um, you in, in a final opens, you can eat ticks because, you know, you come in second, come in third. That's fine. Is what it is. But a finals, what the, one of the most important thing I've eaten like five ticks before. Ticks, not dicks. Five ticks before and I've lost the game due to storm sickness. Don't eat ticks. OK. And. Carry whites when going into endgame, at least three med kits, and then hopefully you'll find more whites. Like, hopefully you'll get a kill, or you'll, like, let's say you're on high ground looking down, you should be able to get more med kits, because you should be able to get at least one kill during endgame. And they will have whites, more or less, guaranteed. So yeah, that's one pro. Now we're going to go find um, another pro to watch, and I'm feeling a bit of Man City Trip, that's my boy. Let's see what he does, and if he does anything similar to Taysen. Oh, he's not even going grim. So this game, you lot should relate to because I don't think he has a coin that he can dash with. He'll literally just have normal bum loot. So boom, this is exactly, exactly what I was trying to explain to you guys. Look, the main spot of this thing is the 50-50 right here because there's the barrels, there's the gun. This is the quickest loot you're going to ever get. And look, Trip got out dropped. So what's his backup plan? To hit this water... Dash once and pad away. And he wins the game because he has this backup plan. So I know earlier I was like kind of waffling. But if you look, Trip does the exact same thing. His drop stinks. Disgusting. Brother. Ugh. Brother. Look. Goes in here. No gun. It's calm. Boom. Dash. Go into the pad. Safe. And he wins the game because he has this thought process in his head. I'm surprised he keys this early, you know. This guy's full shield. Oh. Is that what you're on trip, yeah? Damn. Okay, my bad. Again, no audio. Oh, they gotta fix this, man. But boom. Sneaks into Grim. See, he plays for the win condition. So he landed outside to guarantee himself some loot so that he can fight. Because he probably thinks it's very over contested. But he's 1 HP. Let's see how he fights while he's 1 HP. Dashes out. Who heals up? So does he even get the loot? So we can see he doesn't even get the loot. Still kind of W keying. See, it seems to me that he's W keying until he finds a guy with a coin and a, a pump, because he wants the medallion. 
for him, that's what the win condition is. And that's what Taysom fought as well. So a lot of pros, they're just landing Grim or landing around Grim. And then WKM based off of that. So you could see here. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe this guy don't have the shotgun. We'll see in a sec. But he kills him. And look, as I said, it's very simple, man. They all want the medallion or win conditions. That's it. That's it, man. But if you don't think you're good enough to fight Grim or land Grim, there's other ways you can find this win condition. You could be looking for height constantly in endgame. Make sure you have a Flowberry Fizz. That means maybe taking that fight. Like, you need some mobility in this, in this game. All right, so in endgame, chilling. Only 400 mats. So he's chilling. See, if I was Cat Mats here, I'd go around the right. But he only has like 450 mats, so it makes sense. If I was him, scuff mats, I'd go down the middle. Try to pump someone on the way, try to get a kill. Because he's a bum right now. He only has 400 mats. He doesn't have the win condition. He needs a kill. And we can see here he does get a kill. L leak, I know. But you can see him. He's playing aggressive. Chilling on low ground. Dush, dush, kills him. And again. Goes in for the kill. The guy's on HP, kills him. Now he's cat mats. So in my head, what it makes sense is here, make a box. Wait till Zoneville. And then... See where zone goes and then dash front and then look for high ground. That's what I would do. He's still fighting. See, like, there's not much point in doing this because he already has everything to win the game, more or less. Yeah. He gets an eight kill win and he has six kills. So there's two more kills. So he should be playing smart from here because he only really gets two more kills. Scout's high because he's in the position too. He has the loot to take it. And that's a win condition right there. I haven't seen him eat ticks this game. But I don't like how he's chilling on a low layer, chat. If you have these many mats, like, you shouldn't be here, man. You shouldn't be with the bums. You should be up here. So look, this guy's 30 builds. Tops out, you chop him out. GG, you have high ground. That's just me, though. Maybe that's just me. Let's see. Especially Dash Medallion. He can climb so many layers so quickly. But he just wants to fight everyone. I don't know why he wants to fight so much. I mean, he wins the game, but... Takes a risky run again. That's the second time. This one, there was no point doing that the first time. That was a valid reason. Boom. Valid kill. Now he gets... Does he not take the medkit? Okay. Nearly dies there because he's backside. But now he has good mats. See, now surely, surely he plays for high ground here. Surely he pops his berry, goes ahead and just looks up quick. Just real quick. He has 400 mats. No. Still trying to look for a kill. Look at high ground, man. It's so scuffed. Nine builds. 10 builds. Come on, trip. Please, please, come on, trip. Please use your eyes. Nice pressure. Now look up, please. Beautiful. Thank you, trip. Don't. Good. That was great cone. Great cone. Great cones from trip. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Floppers, his spare med kits. GG's won again. GG's. GG's. I think he could have played the retake on height a bit better. But I mean, he has everything he needs to win the game now. I think this end game was played terribly. But this shows you even if you play terrible, you could still win the game. I mean, the first move and rotate was good. But the second, third move and it was just risky for no reason. In my personal opinion. And then he goes back to his spare hills where there was medkit. He just plays it. Before exit. Why would he not go on this spare hills? I mean, he gets the win with so much. But fairs, bro. That's a win for you guys. Alright, guys. If you did enjoy that video, please make sure you smash the like button. And let me know if you want more of this content. Let me know who you want me to watch. This is just a test video. If this video does good, I'll keep doing these type of videos. And yeah, man. Peace out.